Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and to Okami. Sorry it's been a while since I played. I have been incredibly busy and this just takes so much time to uh, to set up and to record and then to process after. But we're here now and I have a little bit of free time before I have to go to work, so let's go on. Uh, last time we played we went inside the, the water dragon in the land of the dra draconians. That doesn't sound right. Um, but we we accidentally killed him, or kind of killed the evil spirits inside of him, rather, and that killed him. And so now we are going to rescue Rao, because she's being hunted by the demons who want the fox rods. I think I got that right. It's been a long time. <laughs> yes, get off Orca. And she should just be... Is that? I think it's in the on on the uh, other Yoshima coast. Let's make sure it stays daytime. Perfect. Oh man, it is hot and humid today. Mm, absolutely melting. Let's get, no, don't touch. No touch. Oh, I feel like I had so much more to say, and now that I'm sitting here, I'm just sweating very hot. <laughs> don't know what to say anymore. So, I have uh, my coworkers on vacation. Her mom is visiting, struggling with English today. Uh, as always, I always struggle with English, which is terrible for an English teacher. Well, I play English teacher in codes. I teach English. I'm not necessarily an English teacher. But anyway, my coworker's mom is visiting, and so my coworker took time off, so I'm covering her class today. Fed you guys already. Uh, so it shouldn't be too bad. I think her class is fun. Or at least a good class. It's a good company. I've uh, covered for her at that company before. That was really nice. Alright. The temple over here is where you want to go. Uh, I think this is where we were supposed to go. <laughs> we were... Yes, okay. Oh! Did she dead? Oh no, she did a dead. Whoa, what's the busty babe? Huh? She's gone! Oh man, I can feel it in my, like, lower abs. I went running yesterday. I can just feel it everywhere, which is horrifically embarrassing. Because I used to run a lot, and then it got hot and I haven't run in months. Because I kept getting dehydration migraines after I ran. Oh wait, babe, wait! She wants us to follow her. So I haven't run in months and went yesterday for just 5k. And I can feel it in my legs, I can feel it in my lower abs, I can feel it in my lower back. I just feel it all over from like the ribs down. <laughs> so uh, yeah. I do like running quite a bit though and cycling. It's nice to be exercising again. I need to do more of that. Not again. Where does she want us to go? Um. I think I need to exercise a lot. It really helps my mental and physical health, so... It's good stuff. Just disappearing to the wall. What is this? It's like that, the beckoning cat. The lucky cat. What the? You see that, Amy? That busty bay went right through the wall. I wonder if we could have gone through this wall before. Probably not, huh? Well... Well, it's a well. Oh, I should have examined it, maybe, but would have ended up jumping down here anyway. Give me a demon. Nope. Oh. Hey, there's a body here. Wow, it looks like it's been laying here forever. There's nothing but bones and some clothing left. Hmm, now where have I seen clothes like that before? Hmm, suspicious. You guys recognize the clothes? In case you don't, I don't want to spoil it. Or let it be a surprise. I've totally forgot about this level. My friend is playing through this game on his new Switch. I'm excited to see what he makes of some of this stuff. He also- whoa. Oh, is this Rao's place? Where am I? I've probably been here before. Um, 
my friend also lives here in Japan, so it's nice being able to talk about Japanese culture stuff with him. Like, oh, what do you think this means? Oh, this means that. Oh, that's so simple like this. This is from that fairy tale. It's nice. Uh, oh. And then Queen Himiko's Palace. Huh? Isn't this Himiko's Palace? Why is there a tunnel from Ankoku Temple to here? That's a good question. Suspicious. Oh, I think I need the fire tablet. I don't know if I have that equipped. Give me a demon. Fine. No. Uh oh. Your m -m Majesty, C Queen Himiko. Hey, Toots, what the heck happened? She passed out. That's no good. Alright, take this long elevator. Oh, it's so hot. It's only 26 degrees and 62% humidity. I shouldn't feel this hot. Let me make sure I have every time this equipped. Why did I unequip it? Oh, because it makes a weird red glow around me. That's right. And my boyfriend and I have been leaving the windows open just to try and catch a breeze because the aircon unit has, we suspect, has mold in it. And so it's causing trouble for asthma. But now bugs keep getting in even though we have, uh, like, a mesh net over it. I gotta keep an eye on the time because I do have to go to work. I forgot what time it was. I just looked at it. Okay. It's 2.19. Oh, there's Rao in the corner. Huh? What the heck happened? Hey, pretty lady. Here we go. She's... She's... Dead. It was... It was terrifying. A monster ten times my height appeared. It destroyed the magical barrier and left Queen Himiko like that. Busty babe? Is that you? What monster are you talking about? That ginormous thing that attacked you at Ankoku Temple? I'm... I'm scared now. The evil beings we must defeat to save the people in the city. Their leader is such a mighty beast. I must talk so slowly, it's very annoying. No human could stand up to it. Our feeble mortal, mortal resistance is futile. Dang it. Himiko said she'd be okay as long as she had that crystal ball. So how the heck did this happen? Hey, Amy, why do you keep staring at the busty babe? Himiko's dead. Aren't you the least bit sad? No, I'm angry. What's wrong, Amy? Amaterasu. What are you doing? Down, Amy. Have you lost your mind? Are you in the grip of the evil curse as well? Oh, I like the sounds right now. Huh? Kanji zai bosatsu gyojin hanya haramitaji. I don't know what that means. Shokengo on kaiku do isaiku yaku. I could spend time translating that without kanji, it's hard to say. Romanized stuff is so hard to read. What the? What's up with those freaky eyes of yours, babe? You're freaking me out. <laughs> those are freaky eyes. Well, carry on with this any longer. Well, oh, well, carrying on with this any longer would spoil the fun. You are a cunning beast, Amaterasu. I lured you to the treasure ship as bait for the water dragon. But you escaped and managed to get your paws on the lucky mallet. You even cleared the city of the poison mist. You also started searching for Oni Island to bring down my fortress. And you even managed to tame the mighty water dragon. But, but... But now that the water dragon has gone, my fortress is impregnable. And Himiko is but a lifeless corpse. You'll never know where Oni Island is now. 
Ha 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 Luck must be on my side. It's so hard when it's so slow to read. Occupying the body of this priestess, Rao, made it so simple. Breaking Himiko's magical barrier was easy once I got close to her. Amy, where's the busty babe we know and love? It's all thanks to this item you got back from the water dragon. All because the fox rods are mine once again. Amaterasu, you foolish beast. To think that you parted with this mighty source of magic so easily. Know that it was you who revived the power of the Dark Lord. We're gonna have a boss fight? Oh, you are the fox. Uh, okay, I thought it was something like this. She's really the Dark Lord? The Grand Master of Evil Beings? The fox rods made the crystal ball's barrier shatter like glass. Oh, if only you'd been here to see Himiko die. I think I'll take the crystal ball with me in the event that one of your pathetic friends tries to locate me. <sighs> Just eat the crystal? Okay. And if I deal with you now too, Amaterasu, nothing will stand in the way of my world of evil beings. Amy, remember the Dragonian King's revelation? He was showing us how Foxface here killed the real Busty Babe. Boy, she's a real good faker. She had me totally fooled. Yeah, she did. Just because she had boobs, you soon admit it. And look what she did to poor little Himiko. Well, at least we won't have to worry about Oni Island anymore. We're gonna finish you off right here. Uh, okay. <laughs> Just kind of froze there for a second. Let's fight. Hey, I, I hit dodge, so that's no fair. Well, how am I supposed to dodge those? Am I supposed to slow down time? I'm really bad with using techniques, because this game is fairly simple otherwise, so I could I could do better, but... I just can't be bothered. Oh, I think I get that weapon that you're holding. That looks familiar. Ow, that one hurt. Oh, nope, that wasn't the fast one. If I slow down time... Oh, nope, I was in the middle of swinging, so I guess it didn't matter. This one! Can I dodge them this way? Nope, they still got me. Maybe if I slow down time twice, can't be bothered. I think it's faster if I just attack. Attacking is the best form of defense. Yeah, sometimes. It's very sometimes, apparently. <laughs> As I say that, I just keep getting owned. That wasn't so hard, though. I feel like there must be another part to that fight. That was too easy. Okay. We have her now, Amy. Let's finish off that fox-headed wench. I was gonna say, it was way too easy. <sighs> now what? Do you turn into a fox? That sounds like something that would happen in this game. No. <laughs> yeah. That's right, okay. I was gonna say, that seemed way too easy. There we go. I vaguely remember this now. Ignorant fools. Did you really think it would be that easy? No, I- no. I have powers beyond belief. Especially since you gave me those fox rods. Here is but a taste of what the Dark Lord can do. Hmm. Pretty- ah, uh, petty deity. It is only the size of this room that saved you. It is far too small for me to unleash my true fury. My true furry. <laughs> However, resistance is futile, for your remaining hope is for, for your last remaining hope is gone. I shall now return to Oni Island and rally my dark forces. Then we'll go forth and crush all who stand against the darkness. You do just get 
beamed out of here. Beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> Bye. Well, that was easy. Oh, pupper. What is that noise? Amaterasu had allowed the Dark Lord to slip away. The display of evil sent chills down the wolf's spine. Amaterasu and Isun were left to wallow in overwhelming sadness. Himiko had remained steadfast in her quest to find Oni Island. In the end, she lost her life at the hands of the Dark Lord. I keep thinking Harry Potter, Dark Lord. With Himiko... With, uh, with Himiko died all clues to the location of Oni Island. Amaterasu and Isun were left with nary a shred of hope. Giving up on their quest seemed the only option. That's when they noticed that the blood-caked crystal ball spewed forth by the Dark Lord clearly displayed an image of Himiko. Isun, doubting his eyes, listened intently as Himiko began speaking. She explained that Oni Island would not be easy to find and that she had determined to she that she had determined to become ethereal and enter the crystal. Ball herself oh, it's so hard to read in order to search for clues. She had allowed herself to be consumed in order to use the Dark Lord's power. She was also aware that the Dark Lord now possessed the Fox Rods. All was planned. Himiko's will infused the crystal ball with great power. The fortress housing the dark forces materialized. The fortress? Ah! Oni Island appeared only. Oni Island appears only at sunset in a certain location. The place revealed by the crystal ball was none other than a spot just off the northwest shore of Ryoshima Coast, near the spot known as Watcher's Cape. Oni Island would appear again at Watcher's Cape at the next sunset. A small glimmer of hope returned to our hero's hearts. Just as the image of Oni Island faded from the crystal, a deep crack appeared and split Himiko's image. She had paid the ultimate price for manipulating the dark power. The crystal itself had been spent. The destiny of Himiko's very soul had been in inextricably intertwined with that of the crystal ball. A burst of blinding light heralded the crystal's demise. Himiko's soul was caught up in the shattered fragments and drifted serenely towards the heavens above, even as she prayed fervently for Amaterasu's safe passage. Yeah, time and damage is not good, but we still got money. We got lots of money. Does time and damage... Achievement unlock, fox face. Does time and damage affect how much money you get, I wonder? Amy, the sun's gonna set soon. Oni Island's gonna disappear. That revelation Himiko risked her life to tell us. Whatever we do, we can't let it go to waste. Who cares if we can't break the barrier on Oni Island? Let's make a beeline for Watcher's Cape, Amy. Alright. I know where it is. I think. Yeah, I need to go to the other side. Himiko, it can't be. Alright, let's go. Is there a save thing? Yeah. Hello. Uh, yeah, let's save here. Okay. Let's go. I don't know if that was as obvious to you guys. Oh, I hit something. As it was to me that Rao was evil from the beginning. I find this game very obvious, um, and very... Just very obvious and corny and cheesy, but I still like it nonetheless. Except for the slow dialogue, it kills me so much. It is an extremely long game as well. Kind of drawn out. I don't know, there's something about it I really like. This is like the 31st or 32nd- Yes, yeah, Demon Fang! Episode or something, which is crazy. I think there's still ages more to go. I'm trying to remember how long the game actually is. Uh, I'm not gonna talk to you two. Goodbye. Nothing to see here. Alright, so... I 
think this is probably one of the longer ways I could have chosen to go. Whoops. Oh well. Oh, you're a normal one. I was gonna say, maybe if we can find one of those... Uh, those uh, origin mirrors that has the X, we could travel quickly. Give me another demon fang! No. Fine. Uh, next, between next time I play, I might try and just get a bunch of money and demon fangs and do a bunch of random battles. I mean, good to have some extra money and demon fangs so I can buy some stuff. Just so we can go get uh, techniques and whatnot from Onigiri Sensei. Oh, yes, I think I just got a demon fang out of that. Is this one of those fancy origin mirrors around here? Nope, you're a normal one. Okay. Oh, I wonder maybe if it just took it away so you can't teleport. It's gonna make me run all the way there. Sounds like something a game would do. <gasps> no, it was just one. Ah. Uh, how on earth did you get into the city? Security is so tight, no one should be able to get through. Oh well, I don't suppose we need to worry about a dog too much. You look far too cute to be a demon in disguise anyway. Yeah, sure. Alright. Am I gonna be able to get in here? Oh, okay, good. Yes! Excellent. There's always one I miss. I know, I hear you, Mr. Crow. What is the button I hit for map? Okay, I do need to go up here. The cat. Catwalk. Cat call? Cat? The catwalk? Cat call place? What was it called? Catwalk? I think it's called catwalk, and the tower was called cat call tower? That sounds right. I remember it being a ridiculous tower name. Alright, up we go. No, please. Ah, no. Work with me. Oh, I know what I was going to say earlier. I just started playing, or re-playing uh, again, Detroit Become Human. I played it, started playing it ages ago, and I just haven't had the time or energy to devote to it, and I uh, played it again this morning. It's so good. I really enjoy the story. It's really gripping. Oh, there's Oni Island. Whoa, it's so creepy. Who's that? Someone's standing there. Oh, it's you. Otohime. Why, Amaterasu? Hiya, babe. Oh, slow text again. How'd you even find this place? That was some weird accent. How'd you even find this place? I sensed Queen Himiko's fathomless regret upon her last breath. My hair is everywhere. It made its way to the distant halls of the drag of the Dragon Palace. Behold the sun, even now it sinks down beyond the sea. Once it is gone, so too shall only I Oni Island disappear. No one knows where it will appear next, and no art known to mortals can divine its location. That may be true, but listen. It really doesn't matter because we can't break the barrier. Such low text. I mean, the water dragon was our only hope, and it's dead now. The water dragon is not dead in the true sense of the word. What does that mean? I can harness its power with a sincere prayer to the dragon orb. Behold, Amaterasu. I, Otohime of the Dragonians, shall transform into a dragon and break through the wall that divides. May I serve you as a divine bridge to the heavens. Okay. So you're going to be a water dragon now? Yes, it looks that way. Excellent. Very creepy. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's my face. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Now we can get through. It looks like a very long tongue coming from the island. Now, Amaterasu, 
You must cross while life yet courses through these veins. Okay. Hang in there, babe. We'll be back in a jiffy. Sorry for a ball. Looks like millet dumplings aren't in your stars. Huh, that's funny. You'll have to settle for kicking some monster butt on Oni Island. Ah, the slow text really takes away from everything. It's uh, so the opposite of dramatic, because it's just so jolting and feels so slow and difficult to process. The uh, millet dumplings are a reference to Momotaro. I think I talked about it before. And uh, listen up, Bammy. Himiko's probably watching over us, so promise me you won't give up for some stupid reason, like you're hungry or have to go to the bathroom. Of course we're ready. Okay, then. I'll hold you to your word. Uh, I can't remember if I mentioned about the dumplings, the millet dumplings, but that's what Momotaro gave to different animals to make friends with them. He gave them these dumplings. Kibidongo. Which is a millet dumpling. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fire. Sweet. Whoa. That looks nasty. Normally we'd be crispy critters if we touched that stuff. But it shouldn't be any different from water for you now, Amy. Come on, how about some of that water magic of yours? Cool. What? Was that not good enough? Just supposed to go straight up, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Alright, here we go. Save things are so strange. Okay. I often see these save things so close to a proper save, so I wonder why. What is the point? Ooh, there's a cat. Uh, catwalk thing on that wall over there. Alright, let's go. I don't know how much longer I can play because I got. Uh, got a kind of a bad headache. I'm gonna try and take a nap before I go to work, maybe. We'll see. Over here. Can I make a... Oh, it doesn't look like I can make a thing, does it? Maybe not, okay. Alright, this looks like the way to go then. I see you, Mr. Flower. I should be able to... reach the flower and pull myself up to it, huh? Okay, what way do we want to go? To that flower? Maybe to that flower. Yes! To the flower. Wonderful. Oh, yes. You obtained pearl. Good, good, good. Uh, I guess we'll head here and go up. so convenient that we got this lava tablet before we needed no I want it to go up there you go oh yeah jumping skills can I get up here no nope. all right so what have we got ooh can we cut this I think we just learned Yes. Just learn how to cut these. Or rather, we learn the technique to cut thicker rocks, bigger rocks. Alright, that's where I came from. Is there anything on this side? There's a flower down there. Man, do I want to go all the way down there? Oh, I can get up on this side too, okay. Alright, let's go down there. We can get the chest. That'll be over here. Yes. Good. 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 I want to make sure to get everything, because I don't know if we can come back to Oni Island after we're done here, so I just want to make sure we're thorough. Alright, here we go. My dolphin jump. I know it's supposed to be like water, but still, it is fire. Also, it protects me, but not Isu, and I've always- Ah, missed. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. 
I feel like, yeah, the fire thing should protect me, but not necessarily Isun, because he's not... It's not... I guess he's inside the bubble? Maybe that's why. But in that case, if that's the case and it's just what's inside the bubble, it wouldn't be <laughs> my legs then. Alright, let's try and go in. You're gonna make me fight something, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, there we go! A blue and red demon. S centaur things. What up? There's a blue demon who's famous here. Famous? Kind of famous. He's kind of a mascot. Ooh. Can I slash you guys? Because I have this powerful... Can't hit you from behind, huh? No, I can't. Yeah, I kind of can. There we go. Whoa! I dodged. Yeah. Yes, slash you. Dodge. Dodge. Oh, I broke your mask off. Oh, you are scary looking. There we go. Slice. I just sliced your mask. Cool. Alright. Time to deal with you. Alright. Slice your mask. Make sure I pick up all the money over here. Nope. Okay. Wow, you're a spooky boy. I, your face is terrifying. Good, good, good. Awesome. Slice you in half. Any demon fangs? None. Ah, time and damage! Yeah! Okay, let's go in. Ominous. Very ominous. Oh yeah, I was saying the blue demon is kind of like a local... We have a giant statue of him. Giant? Giant-ish statue of him. Those doors look scary. Oni Island. You'd have to be pretty warped. You'd have to have a pretty warped mind to build a castle here. I bet those two bit monsters think they're big shots of in here. Let's teach them a lesson by fighting our way to the top. And dragging that fox headed wench down by the scruff of her neck. Okay, let's do it. Uh why why is why is you here? Uh his the three kind of squares on his face means, like, goods. Hey, how did you get in here? You ain't coming to invade us poor folk of Oni Island, have you? If you have, you've got to answer to me. Me to answer to. I can't read. A fight to end all fights. And the best way to settle it? With a bit of business, of course. Yeah, let's do some shopping. Ah. Uh, that's the one. Do I want to spend money and buy it? I never use them, but... I th Should I buy it? I have enough money. Let's get it. Make sure we get it while we're here. I don't know if we can come back. No, nope, I always do this wrong. Equip! Back. Now... Nope. Wow! Looks cool. I don't remember doing that. I guess we could try using it for a bit. Okay, let's save. Sorry, I'm so scatterbrained in this episode. I feel like I'm just talking left, right, center about random stuff. Uh, very scatterbrained. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to end this one here, though, so I can get ready for work. I might have time to record uh, something fast, like Charlotte. We'll see. Uh, but I would like to do a long episode of this next, so I can do the entirety of Oni Island and get it done with in one go. So it, I'll hopefully get it up soon, hopefully there won't be such a big break between episodes of Okami. Uh, so yeah, hopefully this will the next episode will be up soon. No, nothing, okay. Um, sorry, I'm very easily distracted today. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or any, uh, yeah, questions or comments or any other games you'd like to see me play, please let me know down below. I just finished a Bad Dream not that long ago, and I'm debating starting What Remains of Edith Finch, I think, or Night in the Woods, uh, to have as my third game. Um, 
So let me know if either of those sound good to you. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, bye.